OK, so here we have a stretcher bond wall again, and this time we're going to have this as a, a standard size boundary wall. We're going to have it set at 1800 millimeters, and the length of it we are going to have this wall is going to be. Seven thousand five hundred millimeters, and again, as we said in the last um, video, or the first part of this, that we're going to convert these measurements into meters. So again, just recap on the formula: we're after two dimensions, being surface area. So we're after the length times the height. Now to convert this, uh, seven thousand five hundred millimeters. That is going to be seven and a half meters times eighteen hundred millimeters. That will be one point eight meters. So uh, we have our calculator here, and we're going to find this out again. If we see here, we just put in seven point five multiplied by 1.8 equals. So we can see here that this wall is 13.5 or 13.5 meters squared. And again we remember this little floating two just reminds us that we have two dimensions. Okay so this being the answer I will always underline that because that will draw whoever's looking at your work or if you're Look at your work uh, sometime after you've done this, it will always draw you to your conclusion. Now, again, we want to find out how many bricks we've got in here. So, if we just have our 13.5 meters there, uh, squared, times by, we said stretcher bond, so we know stretcher bond has 60 bricks per meter. So, again, if we just find this. On here we've got 13.5, just going to multiply that by 60, equals 810, and if we just put bricks at the end of it so we know exactly what that figure means. Okay, so um, just a simple way of working out the amount of bricks for a stretcher bond wall, and if we were to go further into this we will um, uh, again, start working out percentages for wastage and that, but before we do that, we will have a look at this uh, in a little while again, uh, as we said, with the adjustments, which are the doors and the windows. But the next little video we look at, we're going to go through the same principles of what we've just looked at, but we're going to be looking at English and Flemish bond.